Hello guys, this is Ankur here and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Technical Analysis The Unbiased View. So in today's episode, in today's uh, recording, I'm going to discuss Nifty 50 future start with all of you. We are going to break down the understanding of Nifty 50 future start in four broad manner. The one has to be the GAN 30 degree channel, uh, then followed by sub 30 degree channel. The second has to be the consolidation or the sideways phases of uh, Nifty, which is giving us a, a good hint. The third has to be the Ichimoku cloud, uh, the cloud formation. There is a one of one of this is one of the indicators, and the fourth, what is the future prospect? It means whether it whether it uh, in terms of the correction or in terms of the upward journey from here after. So starting with uh, the first and foremost thing that as of now, we've been seeing that from last six trading sessions, Nifty is on a sideways journey. Nifty is spending time on the lower channel of 16,180 and the upper channel of 16,360. Correct? I'm referring to, uh, I'm, I'm referring to this area. So the lower channel of this consolidation is 16,180 and the upper channel is 16,360. I have rounded off all the figures just for a better understanding for that only purpose. Now, whenever the Nifty is coming during the day on an intraday on a closing basis near 16,180, there is a decent demand and a good support and the Nifty then start following up and goes towards 16,360 and whenever it goes above 16,300 plus then there is some sort of a supply as of now till date from last six particular trading sessions now what has happened before it before this particular thing nifty has spent more than two months between 15,400 to 15,930 15,430 to 15,500 was a lower base of this consolidation and 15,930 was the upper resistance, the upper channel, right? And as you can see that there is a huge breakout of this particular uh, level, 15,930. And thereafter, Nifty is maintaining itself above 16,000, correct? So the significance of this consolidation where it played a support and resistance game of 15,500 to 15,930 is a very strong support because it has given a multiple effect of a resistance which turned out to be support as of now. So in any correction, further correction, if any correction, 15,930 is a huge support for us where a strong buying will come. Now, what are the chances of falling into 15,930? I'll explain you later on this video. Now. GAN has given a lot of significance to a lot of degrees and one of the degree is 30 degree. He has referred 30 degree time cycle. He has referred 30 degree as a sun cycle also. So this particular trend line of Nifty which is formed from the COVID low till here till we are trading as of now. This is also surprisingly a 30 degree trend channel. Correct? And the correction, as you can see, this correction trend line, this is also a sub 30 degree channel. So what is the significance of this 30 degree channel? We'll see that now. During this area, during this area, Nifty corrected from 14,733 and made a low of 14,223. It broke the 30 degree channel. It broke 30 degree channel here with the gap and it corrected around 3.4%. Correct? That's one. So this was the first time when it broke the 30 degree channel. It took support over here. It went here, but it didn't break, it didn't touch, and then it continued. The second time when we saw the Nifty broke the GAN 30 degree trend channel was this area, where the high was 14,939 and the low was 14,456. This was again close to 3.23% correction. So all are near 3% correction. Correct? The third time, this area, when Nifty broke this 30 degree 
trend channel in sidebar trend channel nifty formed a high of 15980 and test all the way till 15500 again this is 3% correction correct now right now as you can see in nifty 50 futures chart nifty tried moving above 30 degree then it gave a breakout of 15,930 on this particular day with a long range candle but it formed a inverted hammer kind of a price action and then it started moving sideways and right now it settled below 30 degree if the trend moves above 30 degree if the closing of nifty 50 comes above 30 degree 30 degree trend channel then we can see a strong support of this channel with a higher highs and higher lows right now as of now nifty has formed itself below this 30 degree inside trend channel which mr wd gan has given a lot of significance to this particular degree also he has spoken about other degrees also whenever i see any special degree occurring other than the fan principle i'll bring that out also so let's stick to 30 degree as of now in this particular video now when the nifty broke the 30 degree channel and it took the support of somewhere here 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 it formed a strong pin bar over here this is again a sub 30 degree channel so this is also 30 degree channel so hypothetically speaking if the high of nifty is 13000 sorry 16360 and say let's hypothetically take that this is the top correct now till which level it can fall down if i calculate three percent from this high it is going to be 490 490 points correction which is spells out to be 15,870 15,870 which is very close to 15,930 plus minus 50 points it is actually showing 50 points lesser than that but plus minus here it can form a wick and it can close above it therefore chart structure wise also if you see 1590 is a great support because it was having a multiple resistance and whenever a multiple resistance get gets break correct it forms a strong support so if you see the chart structure wise it is giving you the hint that 15930 is a strong base and if we can if we take this one two three we have three examples based on this 30 degree inside trend channel the nifty has given a average correction of three percent three three point four and three point two three correct so i have taken the average three percent average three percent so three percent is somewhere around fifteen thousand eight seventy it means it is hinting that even if nifty is below 30 degree and it breaks and it goes touch if you want to touch down the first touchdown will be 15930 correct and if there is any further correction then we have this area with us correct see there is no thumb rule it is not that it has corrected three percent so it will correct three percent also only not more than that it may correct less than that also it can take the support of the sub 30 degree channel and go up but what is the maximum potential we see as of now so those who wants to short nifty saying that the the broader market is not supporting every day from last four or five days we are seeing that the broader market 60 to 80 percent is in red the fii and the di activities have slowed down there's no aggressiveness from their end so therefore just a hypothetical situation with a good stop loss of 16360 at the highs correct if someone wants to short say that okay you want to sell the call on the upside so 15930 is coming out to be a good target a good base and any price action which is showing that the support has taken from this particular level which the price action may give you the hint then as you can see that the can 30 degree trend channel is also hinting that the correction might not be deeper than 490 points which is 15,870, 15,930. There's a difference of 50 points broadly. So this is what I wanted to discuss. Now, another thing is if you apply Ichimoku, that's a cloud uh, uh, indicator. The future cloud is going to form now. It has, see, it has merged. The 
the red cloud and the green cloud is merged and there has to be a future cloud so the formation of the future cloud has just begun correct so this is another hint because this is the only indicator which tells you the future correct the price has ended over here but the indicator is forming in the future also so that is the significance of ichimoku so the future cloud is going to merge so if there is a red cloud and there is a some sort of a softness in the price then we know that 15930 is the price where we should hunt for buying we shouldn't get scared right any a good correction a good data development a good price action we we can discuss if at all nifty comes in over here so there has to be a good demand zone as of now if i uh, avoid this uh, ichimoku the another consolidation could be could be 16360 to 15930 so nifty can also spend some time over here in this range as you can see nifty has spent almost five, four months in this range this was like from february till may right this is from may to august it gave the breakout on the august the towards the july and then august now it is again consolidating so it will not make aggressive higher highs in every week or daily basis once it makes a significant increase in the index then it will definitely go sideways or maybe some little correction you can see so the correction is 3% and the sideways journey considering this as a top between 15930 to 15 sorry 16 360 as of now in between them between 15 930 and 16 360 the divider the bisecting point is 16 180 until and unless nifty breaks 16 180 on a closing basis don't short correct let it and it will definitely find a first support at this particular level so it will try to first stop there if it breaks with a long range price action and something happens significant any some sort of a geopolitical development then that's a separate issue correct so this is the synopsis on nifty 50 we have discussed the 30 degree we have discussed the sub 30 degree this is the consolidation phase 1 this is consolidation phase 2 the future correction the ichimoku correct So the anticipated summary for correction based on the GAN 30 degrees again showing 3% which is up till 15870. So keep an eye on this particular chart. You can also take the screenshot picture or you can draw the same trend and the sub 30 degree trend and make a note on your screen also of all these things which will help you in the future. So that's it guys. Thank you. Thank you very much and keep watching technical analysis the unbiased view. Bye bye.